Hey, what's up, everybody? We're gonna bring you a nightfall tonight, courtesy of WeirdosXXX.com. We got R Dub, we got Samurai Sam, and Carnage. Wait a minute. What are you doing in my shot? You're in my shot. I'm trying to make this thing look good. What are you doing? Cut! Shut up and sit down. All right, before you guys get going, I just wanted to throw a uh, couple tips out to you. Make sure that you have a sniper rifle or a uh, rocket launcher or something that is going to do a lot of DPS at the end for the boss. A sniper rifle will help a lot because at the end he kind of hops around. Uh, it's a big map. It's a big wide open area. A sniper rifle will help you out. Fire team, an urgent matter requires my attention. Hawthorne has volunteered to handle your strike on this end. Wait, are they going after the weapon cat? You said I could do that one. Well, good luck, fire team. Anyway, when you get into the nightfall itself, make sure you go to the left and get in that room right away. Start killing everything. It's very important to get through this thing uh, quickly. The timer is not very long. If you're unfamiliar with the nightfalls, they do give you a couple seconds back for each kill. That range does depend on the strength of the enemy that you just killed. What are those Cabal doing out there? We need to get past this security door. Nothing to do with why we're not allowed to have flares. It wasn't us! They must have detected me in their network. I get ready for reinforcements. Lot. Um, here you see Sam spread out to the left, uh, I'm in the middle, and our dub is to the right. Stay in this corner here for at least the beginning. Try to take down the Thresher uh, as soon as possible because those things are quite deadly. They tend to move around the map if you don't take care of them right away, so that one spawns there. Go ahead and take down the Thresher. There's going to be a couple of captains off to the left here. Now make sure, if you're getting annihilated, back up a little bit. Alright, the snipers on this map are lethal. You get shot once, you're going to die in about a millisecond later. So make sure you're watching out for that. Now here's a little slow-mo, little sticky grenade. One thing that I found, the sticky grenades, at least for the art class hunter, um, are not nearly as powerful as they were in the first game. Clearing out this left alleyway, work on all the ads. You're gaining more time, but every second counts all right so make sure you're working this left alleyway try to work clockwise um, maybe you at home you're finding something that's working better for you but uh, I like coming over here uh, if you have a couple guys on either side of the map you distract these uh, these ads over here from those guys take it basically spreads everything out you have to understand that these maps are not destiny one maps these are huge maps they're almost like Titanfall maps. They're huge. So make sure you work every angle, or every inch. Get up high, get down low. There's there's all kinds of nooks and crannies. There's a lot of new Cabal enemies that are very interesting looking. These guys shoot beams of light at you. Their shields are way more powerful than it seems before. But again, they have a huge target area on their backs. Don't forget about that. These vandals over here tended to be some of the biggest jerks in the entire Nightfall. They are deadly accurate, as, a, as they always have been. Um, here, you see R-Dub trying to get a revive on Samurai Sam. He gets taken out. So I came over, I decided to help our dub out, get him back to life. You'll see him coming in the screen there, and boom, he's back to life. Our dub is about to go super. That 
tank just exposed a solar fuel cell. Take the charge. Ignore your dead friends. They'll spawn eventually. I can't believe it. You were right. He grabbed it. That's what I would have done. It's not what anyone should have done. Run across this bridge. Now, this is a huge destiny tip, and it's not just for this section. Keep your butt moving. Always move. Even if it's just a little bit. It throws off the aim a lot. I barely got touched running across all of that. And I've seen plenty of people get murdered even trying to get through that. Now, here's another thresher. Watch out for him. Again, stay moving. Our dub's taking care of some of these guys. We're buying some more time. If... I found that if you have someone go ahead and then the other two guys even if they're lagging behind but they're taking care of business with the ads you can build yourself some time you save time by having somebody start the next section but you're also getting time by killing ads I found it also helpful to work on that platform that's to the right you have to watch out for some things but you can basically move up slowly and surely. Some people want to skip through some things. Some people want to think that they can go to the next sector. Don't waste any time. Kill all these things here. You will be destroyed if you don't. Kill everything here. And then get running over to the next section. So you go up the ramp to the right. And then it's in the middle of the wall. Now, this section you can skip straight through. You'll see our dub kind of hang back. And as I come through the hallway, I work myself around to the right. And just basically go around him. Zahn's lieutenants aren't messing around. Think we've seen the last of them? He's bound to have more. Insecure men tend to surround themselves with others like them. Cade, anything to add? Nope, she's totally right, which is why I work alone. The ship is still here. Zond moved in after you put the most down. Surprised he hasn't painted the place short truce to match his owner. I'm sorry, painted it what now? Ah, uh, no. So you get on your sparrow and you go right around this big satellite dish or whatever the hell it is. You go around these pillars. Stay to the right a little bit, but move left and right. You will get shot if you don't, but you will be slowed down and potentially die. I speak from experience. Inside the ship again. Zahn can't be far now. Could be some really weird defenses in there. Not just flame turrets. I'm talking really weird. Well. It wouldn't be a Red Legion base without another indoor tank. Don't mess with them. They need to stay focused. Guardian down. All right, as you enter the room, go to the right. Then go all the way to the back. And fo just follow the wall in a counterclockwise or anti-clockwise circle. They both mean the same thing. Jump up on this box. You see it, it's already marked for you. Another tank. There was another tank on the elevator. Here we are working our way around the room. The tank should already be started. If you come back here, you can get a great view on the tank if you have a sniper rifle like I was mentioning at the beginning of the video. If you have a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher, something that you can kind of pop, pop, pop. You do some damage over here without getting shot. I didn't have one, I just had this fusion rifle. I wasn't doing all that great of a job. Um, after this, you clear out that tank and then you clear out another boss on top of the platform. You're moving into the next section.
We can't stress it enough. The faster that you can get each section going, the better your time is going to be. So our dub was already ahead. He got it started by the time we got there. The door was already open. Now, as you go through this room, a couple people can spread out. Son is here. And the flame turret. Is he using the flame turret? Yes. Have someone go through this hallway. Go off to the right. That way you can distract these guys from shooting down on your teammates who are trying to take out the ads in the middle sections that won't move unless unless they're there. Sometimes you have to use your power weapon ammo to get out of a jam. Do your best to conserve it. That way you can unleash it on the boss. In a, you know, in a couple of seconds here we're going to be rising up to the top of this platform. More or less an elevator. Clear all these guys out of here. He's going to be standing at the top of the elevator. Beware, there's going to be another group of enemies that drops down. Clear these guys out. Again, there's a big, massive vent-like structure on the Cabal's back. I'm not entirely sure what you want to call that. Other than a sweet spot. Make sure you hit. So, Brachazan is going to be waiting for you at the top of this thing. So, be prepared to DPS right away. Um, again, going back to it, make sure you have heavy weapon ammo. A really good tip is if you guys all have your supers ready, an art class hunter that they're running, if you have your super, you can basically take a lot of damage off of this guy by pulling a little trick on him. So art, art class hunter, go straight up to him, start hitting him, move him around, start hitting him as much as you can. Your teammate should be on the opposite side where his back is facing if you dump rockets and you dump rounds into his back, you'll get to a point where his health falls so fast he won't even be able to put his shield up. And you'll see he'll, he's going to have a bubble shield in a minute. Here's some split screen footage. Carnage, which is myself, is on top and r Dub is on the bottom. Brachis Zahn is taking some damage now you see him he jumps up and he moves away he goes to the top of a platform and more or less pops a bubble shield another sequence will happen just one out and revive Sam and Ardo and get some more uh, ads cleared out here the tendency to be a lot in the middle the charge is out. Unless we disable that shield, we're sitting ducks out here. Again, use the whole map. Look how big this map is. Use the whole entire thing. Sniper rifles would probably be an advantage on the map. Or something like that, so These are huge maps.
Thank you very much to Samurai Sam, our dub, and to anybody who's watching right now. We hope you learned something, and we hope you come back. Subscribe to Weirdos XXXX on YouTube, and check out the website, WEIRDOSXXXX.com. Don't forget about the signal flares.